Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Century Counters. Um, today's video is a review of this Susie Goose uh, miniature doll closet or wardrobe I should say. Armoire wardrobe. So let's look inside. So these were made in the 60s or 70s. Um, this is what it came with. A uh, on, Let me see if I got it on. Sorry. Um, it came with a uh, shirt. Um, this was not included in the costume. It was just an added outfit. This right here. Hold on. There we go is a clothes hanger that did come with the closet. It had about like maybe 10 of them probably. <clears throat> now this, this is really interesting. This was not included. Well, actually it was included in the wardrobe, but it wasn't part of the wardrobe. This is actually from trying to remember um, 1960 or late 1950s Barbie set for a uh, fashion boutique store or a fashion shop. It was a cardboard basically built um, diorama that you could use play with your Barbies to either pretend to shop. They were, I think there was like a little dressing room or a uh, fashion runway, mini fashion runway slash lobby area. And then they had a false window where you could um, display flat cardboard cutout mannequins. Um, you can still get that. Um, it is sold on eBay. I've seen them sold for about six to $700. And this is part of it, but I don't have it. I wish I had it. It's basically made from the same texture as the um, Barbie apartment, you know, cardboard or everything. They remade that recently. And I really, 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 really wish they would remake the uh, fashion boutique shop because I would love that. <clears throat> so the next thing I want to show you is, let me remove the camera off the stand, is this. Now, there was another shelving unit um, that was like right here. But unfortunately, hold on, let me shift a bit. There we go. Much better. Um, it was right here, but it was not included. This is where the shoes would go. This is the mirror, of course. Um, here, there was like a shelving unit, but that's not there. But I still have the lower shelving unit um, where purses and magazines would have gone. Um, this is a drawer unit and the person who sold this forgot to mention that it came with some goodies. Now, the goodies that were included was not only just the shirt, but a, um, a boot, one boot. There you go. And then this I just added myself. I just put little shoes and stuff in there. But these shoes and stuff did not come with this set. Um, but I just put them there for safekeeping. And there's a shelving unit that's removable. Um, it's not wanting to remove right now, but here's where the hanger is. It's attached the hanger, and you just put your clothes there. I think five on one side, five on the other. So let's close it up. This is what it looks like closed up. As you can see, there is some staining. I don't know if you can see that, but there is some staining. Now, our plan is to paint this and give it a makeover. Now, Susie Goose, um, it came with other things. It also came with a, a bed set. It came with a Hulk chest. It came with a vanity set. Um, I think it also came with a china cabinet set. They were all sold separately, I believe. And there was also a queen size wardrobe, which was super large drawers and then an armoire uh, wardrobe connected to it. So it was like drawers and an armoire. But that's very hard to find. Um, I've only seen it reviewed on um, YouTube, but never sold on eBay. In fact, the person who was selling that one said that it's very hard to 
find it on play in on eBay and other online stores. And if you do, it's pretty pricey. Very rare can you um, get it cheap. But these ones are pretty cheap. I've seen them sold for about like the most expensive is like 150. The cheapest, for example, this one that came with the little drawers was about twelve dollars, I think. But yeah, this is what I have. And then um, I decided, you know what? I want to get the bed set. I also want to get the vanity set because I want to do a mini diorama. And I'm also making some clothes for this. Um, excuse the text alarm. I can't help that when it happens. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be making clothes to go with this closet. Um... You know, like I said, you have to, if you're doing a diorama, you got to make it as realistic as possible. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, um, let's go on with what I have planned for the color scheme. So this plate, it's like a retro kind of 70s look color thing going on. Turquoise and pink. I decided I'm going to do the um, armor slash wardrobe this color. The inside's going to remain the same, but the outside is going to be turquoise and pink. Pink, and then when, if I'm lucky enough to get the um, the vanity set as well as the bed set, I'm also going to stick with this color scheme. You know, that way all the sets match. So, um, yeah. For my paint choice, I decided to go with Angelus Leather Paints Basics Kit. You can do just about anything with these paints. You don't have to just paint it with leather. I mean, leather, I mean. Um, plastic is pretty good. Um... I've used these to restore Barbie's faces when their face paints are faded and everything. It works just as fine. And the best part is um, no chipping. As far as I know, this paint sticks. Once it dries, it sticks. So in the future, this will not chip. When I paint on the wardrobe, there won't be any scratches, etc. Um, this set I got from a uh, paint store like a hobby paint store um, for about $26, $27, maybe $28. It was under $30. Not bad. Um, you can get also get this on Amazon. It's a little bit more pricey around the $35, $36 range, but um, not too much a difference. Um, plus, they're the neutral colors, so you can make any color from scratch, like blue-green, for example. Um, I mean... Blue, yellow can make green, add a little bit of white, um, turn the green into turquoise, and then red and a little bit of white makes pink. A little bit more white, you get like a pale retro-ish pink. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then this is kind of like a glaze, I believe. So I'll probably use this after, just for a final set, you know, extra protection. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be using. Um, so... Yeah, so I look forward to doing that video. This is just an introduction video um, slash review of this Susie Goose uh, Barbie wardrobe. And again, apologize for the text. Um, that's why I'm cutting this video short because once the texts start, they just are endless. So anyway, um, please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the painting video. Um, until then, see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, this is Century Countess. In our next video, we are going to be painting the um, armoire slash wardrobe closet created by Susie Goose. Um, if you saw my last video, I did a review and the inside of it so our plan is to do a kind of a retro -y pink and turquoise combo so let's begin so here's the colors white and red and they're by angelus and then yellow and blue so i thought we'd do the retro pink first so let's get started on that shall we and we're going to add just a little bit of the white well, actually a good bit then let's 
smidge of the red. It's let's see, maybe there. There we go. Okay. Mix it up. Add a little more red. Two drops this time. Okay, so we got our pink. Now let's get started on painting. So we're going to start by just painting it a solid pink. Maybe one, two, maybe, no, not one, two layers. And then we're going to put in a turquoise color. I don't know if that's coming in or if you can actually see the color, but um, it is kind of a very pale, um, very pale kind of candy pink. Probably the next coats will um, show up more after we add a second coat, maybe a third. So we just painted both the doors, our first layer. Now we're going to turn it around. And start working on the side. And like I said, it's going to take probably maybe two layers, maybe three. Hopefully we have enough paint. You know what I mean? It'd be a nightmare if there's not enough paint. We're back to the front with a second layer of this um, 
paint. Now, as I'm painting, I kind of noticed that this uh, wardrobe has a wood style finish, you know, like the ridges and everything from wood. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it actually has the ridges, which is kind of cool. Gives it a realistic look, which is what I like. Now, I like vintage um, doll furniture because, one, for example, everything is usable. I mean, the Today Barbie uh, or other miniature items, it's mainly just display only. You can't really um, operate. Like, for example, a modern-day Barbie vanity. Some of the drawers can move. Um, some of them look like two drawers, but they're actually one drawer, or they're just sculpted on um, for example, the Susie Goose vanity, I mean, every drawer is operational. So I like that. I mean, you can put more items up and that way you're not like packing like your items, like your uh, miniature items in little baggies somewhere. You can actually put them up like a normal person puts their stuff up, which is kind of cool. I like that. You can actually see the pink a little bit more now that we added um, more uh, of the pink layer. So I'm just going over it. Like I said, I'm going over it one more time with the pink. I might do a third layer. You never know. Trying to get the crevices. And I'm sorry that this is not in full length. I'm using my mobile phone and I apologize for that. But I hope you guys are enjoying what you can see. I'm trying to fix it to where you, at least you see a good fit. I'm sorry if there's times where uh, my paint strokes are off camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a second layer off camera and uh, possibly blow dry it. And we'll see what we have to do next. And we're back. I decided to go to bed um, because it was pretty late at night. So here it is. It's early in the morning at about 8.56 a.m. And the uh, two coats have completely dried. Um, it, so far it looks like it's fully coated. And I also slept on a decision. The decision was either to keep it as originally planned pink with turquoise or leave it um, with another color, pink and another color combo. So I decided to go with a, um, a, a white. So it's going to be pink with white, um, um, pink and white. Yeah, pink and white. So um, without further ado, I've already got the paint. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint this part being very careful and we're just going to paint this part and then this part and then probably maybe the, the ridges here but um and this part, I mean, I forgot to mention this part. Yeah, so the ridges, like these little ridges here probably. And then this little center design here. And then maybe the doorknob. I don't know. The little knob that's part of it. And it looks like we're going to have to do a layer job again. And I'll just layer it up. Trying to stay in the lines. 
trying to make it even to But anyway, I decided to go with the pink and white instead of the pink and turquoise because um, I thought that would be, you know, more prettier. I mean, the pink and turquoise would have been pretty too, but I thought, well, since this is going to be a diorama and Barbie's going to basically be our model in the diorama, let's at least keep it to her tone at least. And her colors are normally pink and pastel -y, you know, nothing with turquoise combined with it. So we'll go with something more girly, very, very girly instead of like retro y. Well, actually, this is, you could say this is still a retro theme. It's just the color scheme's different. Hmm. And now I'm just pondering if I should do the ridges. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to put more coats over it and then I will show you the final result when we get to it. See you then. And we're back. The um, white has been added to the uh, wardrobe. This is how it looks in full view. Um, I actually like it this way. It's better than the turquoise color idea that I had envisioned. So um, I hope you enjoyed this painting video. Please like and subscribe, hit that bell, and stay tuned for some other crafting fun as well as sewing fun. Bye-bye.